AI is coming into our daily clinical work uh, and I'm, I'm glad that, that it comes. Um, because if you look at our department, uh, we have uh, about 40 radiologists, full-time equivalents. We're looking at about 150 million images a year. So it means that we only get one second to look at each image. During night, we have younger residents uh, doing the part and uh, what we see now, ADOC is showing them some thing on the, on, the, on the screen and says, okay, you have to look at this. And it helps to them to make uh, the decision. When you're not experienced, when you're tired, so it's three o'clock in the morning, you can miss this kind of findings and we have this positive feedback. It can help you to take another look at your images and uh, be sure that there's uh, hemorrhage or not. Easy to use and going fast are the two things why we went now for, for ADOC and to use this on the emergency ward. Um, and, and I think ADOC has, has both. And I think it's, it's, it's a really good thing that as University Hospital we start now we're doing those things. If we don't take the train now, we'll have to take it in one, two, three years and uh, the change will be bigger. So let's start now and let's, let's go on to, to implement this uh, in, in our clinical daily work. I hope that evolution will go on and I'm sure it will go on and it's going fast and, and we will become again real medical doctors as radiologists to, to talk about patient treatment and only, not only looking at images and looking for black and, and white spots on the images. It's not the, the end of radiology, it's just the beginning.